What if your struggle to learn front-end wasn't about ability, but instead you had the wrong approach? During 13 years as a back-end developer, I steered clear of front-end because it just felt so confusing. Languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript seemed like a completely different world, so I stayed within my comfort zone. Even though I always dreamed of building an entire web app by myself, without the front-end skills, it felt impossible. If you've got a side project idea that's gathering dust, don't worry, I've been there and I've got good news. I finally discovered an approach to learning front-end that actually works. Since then, I've launched three web apps into the world, and in this video, I'll share the exact same approach. I'll reveal the biggest mistake developers make learning front-end and how to fix it, so you can finally bring your side project to life and unlock a whole new world of development. Ever notice how job postings are divided into front-end and back-end roles? This split exists to help companies work faster. Specialising lets developers get good at one part of the project, which makes sense when building at scale. But when it's just you and your side project, this approach can hold you back. For years, I stuck to back-end tasks. I avoided anything to do with layouts or interactivity because I always told myself front-end's too hard. But this mindset boxed me in, making it impossible for me to ever start any projects that needed more than a back-end API or a database. The solution? Break out of the back-end only identity and reimagine what kind of developer you could be. Here's how. First, write down your current developer identity in one sentence. Mine used to be, I'm a Java developer who builds APIs. Next, rewrite it with a focus on outcome, not skills. Think about the kinds of projects you want to build. For example, I create tools that help YouTubers to publish videos more often. Repeat your new description to remind yourself why you're learning these new skills. It's not about labels, but creating something meaningful. This shifted mindset will give you the confidence to move on to the next step. Most side projects don't need the complexity of enterprise software. They're not giant monolithic applications requiring years of development. Maybe you're thinking to build a small web app to solve a personal problem, like the YouTube thumbnail comparison tool I built for my first project. That's great because it means you don't need deep expert level skills to get started. Think of it this way. In a job, developers specialise in back-end or front-end to maximise productivity. But when you're working solo, you need a broader skill set, but only at a shallow level. For your first project, basic front-end HTML skills might be enough. On the next, maybe you can add JavaScript to make the page interactive. Each small success builds your confidence, so you can tackle more ambitious projects over time. The key point is this. Only learn what's necessary to complete your project, nothing more. This lowers the barrier to entry, making it easier for anyone, including long-time back-end developers, to take the leap into front-end. To get started with this approach, try this. Define the minimum viable product. For whatever side project you have in mind, figure out the minimum feature set that solves your user's problem. Rank them in the most logical order for development. If there's a tie, pick the easiest. Learn just enough. Focus on the top item on your list. If you don't know how to build it, learn just enough to get it working. Skip the 40-hour video course, instead use quick resources like ChatGPT. Keep moving. Once the feature works, make sure you understand the basics, then move on. By taking these steps, you'll slowly prove to yourself that you can handle front-end work. Before you know it, the dream of completing your app will seem not just possible, but inevitable. Specialised skills are great for large teams, but as a solo builder, becoming a generalist is your superpower. A generalist doesn't worry about labels like front-end or back-end. They learn whatever is necessary to bring their ideas to life. As you build one project and then another, your skills will naturally grow, and the limits of a narrowly defined identity will fall away. Suddenly projects that once seemed out of reach become achievable. But none of this happens without action. Take one small step today, however minor it seems, to show yourself that front-end development is within your grasp, because life's too short to stay stuck in your comfort zone. Start small, keep learning, and build something amazing. See you in the next one.